Hello everyone and welcome back, this is Sleepless Ninja. Today I'm going to show you how to unlock your bootloader. Now I've done this before in other videos, but I just wanted to make a video straight. This is exactly what the focus is, just so you don't have to refer to another video about unlocking the, the bootloader. So, um, what you need is you need the ADB um, and Fastboot. Now I have a general video on that, so check out my general root video and it'll set you up with the ADB and Fastboot. Now if you didn't set up the path, which I'm gonna show you um, what you have to do, you basically go into your terminal or your command prompt in Windows and you want to go to where you installed your Android SDK. And so we're gonna navigate there. And then once we're in Android SDK we want to go to the platform tools. And this works both in Windows and Mac and Linux. You know, CD is how you select the directory you want to go to. So CD platform tools. And then in Windows, you want to do dir to see where you are now. And ls um, in Linux or Mac. So you can see these are the files where we are in the folder that we're in. You can think of this as an old school Windows Explorer or Mac uh, finder. So now you can see that we have our ADB here and our fastboot Mac. Now what we want to do is we want to connect the zoom using the cable and we want it to be on and like so and also uh, I think it needs to be in debugging so you go into your settings and you go into your applications and you want to go into development and then enable USB debugging okay and then you'll have that little symbol in whenever you uh, plug your USB into your computer. Okay? And so now with all that, um, and your zoom on and plugged in, all you need to do is type in ADB Reboot Bootloader. Okay? This works on Windows and Mac. And this is for any version of the zoom. All of them have um, this. So you can see, um, for some reason, the zoom wasn't discovered. So all I'm going to do is unplug the USB and then plug it back in. All right, and then um, we'll just run it again. Well, as you can see, zoom is having some difficulty finding it. Replug it in. There we go. What's going to happen now is the zoom is going to turn off. You're going to come to the dual core startup, and then it's going to say starting fast boot protocol support. Okay? Once it's there, we're going to go direct ourselves back to the command prompt or the terminal. And we have one more command. We're going to type in fastboot. Um, and I have the Mac version, so it's called fastboot.mac, as you can see there. Um, but for Windows, it will most likely just say fastboot. And then we want to say OEM unlock. Okay. Now, one other thing, um, just to cover it, if your fast boot, if you're typing it this way doesn't work, since you're in the directory, you can directly run it this way. So if you don't have it set up as a path, you want to do dot forward slash. Okay? And if you do have it set up, this works just the same. Now I'm going to pan to the zoom just to show you what, it, what, what will happen when I press enter with the command already in. It's going to now give us the screen, and this is uh, important because you're going to basically void your warranty now. So make sure this is what you want to do. I'm not accepting, you know, any anything goes wrong or whatever. This is your decision, you know, and not my, not my fault. Okay. Um, so please read this carefully and uh, be sure this is what you want to do. Um, and then you basically um, volume up selects, volume down um, changes the option. So you can see right now the current choice is cancel. I'm going to do volume down to I accept and then I'll press volume up to accept that. And then, again, 
we are given the choice, volume down, to select yes if we want to accept this. Okay? And then it's going to be formatting. All right. And that's going to take a couple seconds. Um, but basically, it's just formatting now. The hard drive, you are going to lose all of the contents on your um, Zoom at this point. But you will have an unlocked bootloader. And then, basically, it's formatted and you restart and everything's going to run as normal, um, you know, you're going to have to, uh, you know, re since your Zoom is refreshed and reformatted, you're going to need to do the initial startups. Um, and I don't even recommend doing that, spending too much time in this because if, obviously if you've unlocked it, um, you're going to want to now flash some sort of a uh, new kernel or something like that on your Zoom. So. I hope you um, thought this uh, tutorial was useful, isolated um, from, from now the other um, videos where I have it. And um, please let me know if you have any troubles with these steps. And um, as always, it's a pleasure and have a wonderful day.